so this is where we left off we have now created in the first tutorial the hand texture in the second tutorial the lightning bolt and now this is the final tutorial and in here we'll get everything working with blueprints so the idea is that the source of the lightning this will be connected to your hand to the the VR the motion controllers so wherever you move your hand will always be the source of the lightning and then at a set distance away from your hand and whatever direction your hand is facing we will have the target so let's get in and get that working and we can do all this in the level blueprint it's it's a pretty simple blueprint so let's open up level blueprint and what we will do is we will bring in a tick so on every frame we will update the location of the two actors the source and the target so let's get our motion controller first so cast to motion controller pawn and the object of this will be get player pawn and for mine you can do it differently i will just use the right hand the right controller so let's get right controller and just to make it more accurate we will place the source on the hand itself so get hand mesh should be at the bottom here it is get hand mesh so that is the hand itself so we'll just to be more accurate we will get that and so let's let's update this this is our bolt source so if you select this go into your level blueprint and right click you can create a reference to the bolt source so let's move this with our hand so what we need to do is get world location pretty simple and from this we will set world location and the target of course is our bolt and let's just make sure that our blueprint is running through this there we go so that now is your the bolt source connected to the hand mesh of your motion controller so now we want to set the target so set a set distance away from whatever way your hand is pointing so to get that what we need to do is let's get our hand mesh and we will get the world location and we will also get the forward vector so in which direction it is pointing and to set that distance away all we need to do is well first we need to multiply the vector by a float and whatever distance this is the distance of this is the kind of the length of the lightning bolt so for a very long distance what I have set is 4000 and then we just need to add our starting place our world location so vector plus a vector and we'll just add this into here and what this is doing now is this is placing the source sorry the target 4000 units away from our current position in our forward direction so let's bring in our target let's just select it and bring in create a reference for the bolt target and let's set actor location uh, the target 
is our actor that we just brought in and the new location there we go simple as so that is now our bolt kind of let's go in and preview this in VR here we go so you're gonna see now we have the lightning bolt coming from our hand very nice now all we need to do is be able to turn it on and off with a button so let's get back out of that and I'll just change something there so that we can preview it in full screen so if you go to editor preferences and if you go to play I'll just change this to the full size of my screen just so it's not small okay so now what we want to do is have it hidden but when you press the button it it reveals itself so if you go into project settings and into input you can see that I'm using the oculus quest um, it works with anything else but just for my reference all buttons on the motion controllers are used for grabbing and teleporting except for B I'll use B on the right hand side you can see here that teleport right the A button is being used to this is the oculus touch is the the oculus quest so what I will do is I will add an action mapping and I'll change this to just uh, bolt spawn and oculus touch and oculus touch the right hand B press so you kind of have to look you can just google it what is the key binding for the motion controllers that you have uh, and for the oculus quest i have i was using the, the b button so it's called bolt spawn so all i need to do now is type in bolt spawn so now whenever the button is pressed and released i can call actions so what I will do is I'll bring in my particle emitter so I'll just select it go into my level blueprint and create a reference so very simply what I will do is set actor hidden in game so whenever it is pressed it is not hidden and I'll just copy paste and whenever it is released it is hidden and one thing we want to do is whenever it begins we want it to be hidden by default so I'll bring in event begin play and I'll just copy particle emitter and hidden in game so just when it starts it is hidden and then when we press it is not hidden and then when it is released it is hidden again so if I just preview it will hopefully work for us so now we have our hand it has the lightning effect works fine and if I press my B button there we go we can see that it is oh actually when it's released it is not hidden let's what did I do there oh I need to connect the target silly me 
Okay, so now just to be clear about that, I just need to collect it, the, the bolt particle emitter into the target of the hidden. So if I go back in again, and here's my hands, you can see the electric effect, and when I press my B button, there we go. And you can see that I have it set that it updates once every second, but you can make this a lot faster. But I'll just let you adjust that because people are very, people are photosensitive, of course, and we don't want to just go crazy with that. And the distance that is set to four thousand units away. You can make it closer. You can make it further away. You've seen how we adjusted the colors in the particle. We have three different lines with the noise frequency. So just get in there and make it look as you would like. And I hope this was helpful. I think it looks pretty cool. And there's a lot that you can do with this. And as I said, it, it works with any hands since we were only using the emission node. So thanks for watching. I hope it helped. Leave a comment if there's anything that you want me to explain further. And I'll see you in the next video.